Hi guys, welcome to Linksai YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to write Docker file and build your own custom Docker images. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Docker file and its use cases. So Docker file is normally text file used to build your own images by giving specified instructions so that we can create our own customized Docker images in an automated way without running Docker container. So point is that why we need the Docker file even we have uh, accessing uh, Docker images are available in the Docker Hub registry. We have a uh, lots of pre-existing Docker images are available in the Docker Hub site. It can be pulled uh, directly and, and we can it, uh, but we can use it, but still we need to customize our existing Docker image based on our own custom requirements. So Docker file help us to build our own Docker images automatically as per given the instructions. So now, now the point is how to write them and build our own images. So for this, let's move to the lab session. So this is the Docker file refer references from the do official Docker Hub site. And uh, let me open my terminal. Yeah, here is the my Linux machine. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm using my Royal Line virtual machine and where I have already installed Docker command line tools. If you don't know how to install the Docker in Linux, you can go through my previous video from Docker playlist where I have uploaded how to install the Docker in Royal Line or Royal Linux. As you can see, this is my Linux terminal and let me show you the OS release version of this machine and Docker version first. So let me log in with my root account and log in and let me show with the OS release version. So if I go with the hostname CTL, you can find out currently I'm using rel 9. And if I go with the Docker hyphen V, the version is already there, Docker is already installed. So let me take the assets of this machine from my VimWare workstation. So I'm going on the VimWare here and SSH and connect to SSH. Okay, give the password. I'm giving the password, and now here I am in my Docker server, right? So uh, let me check the current condition of Docker image using the following command that is Docker images. So once I press enter, you can see that uh, currently I don't have any Docker images. So first of all, let me create the Docker file and give some instructions using the following command. So let me create first of all touch Docker file. I'll create a file. File name is Docker file. So Docker file name must be the same as the Docker file. Now, uh, this is my Docker file, and here I'm putting with the instruction based on our requirement. We have lots of instructions available to the Docker file, which is available on the official Docker Hub website. This is the site which I'm talking about, Docker file references, and here are the n number of references are there, and n number of instructions are there. So you can take the help from here and write down your own Docker file. So. Uh, I have given you the link of this instruction where I have already where I have uh, where are the uh, already explained that clearly about each instructions with clearly example. So let me start with some very common and useful instructions. So let's assume I'm going to build and customize our Apache web server as per one own requirement. So first of all, uh, for create uh, for a web server, I need an index.html web page. So I'm using echo command to just write some basic content. So I'll go with the echo. A, hi this is my basic web server okay and save it in the name of index.html index.html let it be verified with the cat yep this is my basic web server okay so we have a basic index.html page is ready which will be used under my docker file for customize my docker image now let me open my docker file and let's start with the uh, with the instructions so let me go with the VIA miter open the docker file so first of all I'm going to start with the from and the image name so we can go with the F R O M from and let's start with the base image so I go with the Ubuntu U B U N T O Ubuntu okay let it be safe first so um, uh, we can specify these instructions either in uppercase or lowercase, but for the better dif differentiate between the instructions and the argument, we will write down in the uppercase. So from Ubuntu, that means it is defined the base image to use the start the build process. Now in the next line, I'll go to the maintainer instruction, who is the author of this image and uh, and so that the user will reach out you for more information about this image. So I go with the maintainer. So M-A-I-N-T-A-I-N-E-R, maintainer, go with the caps, sorry. M A I N T A I N E R maintainer maintainer the name author name I said R A M Ram Mishra it's me M I S H M I S H R A Mishra and the email ID Linux R seven nine eight at the rate gmail dot com yeah 
I'll go with that one. Okay, now we uh, from from now the actual customization started. What are the tasks we would do to the configure in the Apache web server? We install the HTTP package and we'll configure the web server uh, uh, with some web page content. So execute any command on the top of the container. We have a, uh, another instructions which is called run. So we can go with the run. At, let's start with the apt get. Sorry, apt get update first okay let it be copy one more time i am putting one more run instruction so apt get and then i'll say install what install you want to install i install apache package say ap apache 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 2 and double up percent and say apt get install one more install hyphen y apache2 apache2 hyphen utils utils okay so once you have a more command to be executed don't write lots of run instructions like line by new line because it will create each layer for each run instruction and also docker image size will be used so considering that reduce these instructions by using double up percent like this way uh, run apt get install hyphen y apache2 double up percent apt get install hyphen y apache2 utils then again double up percent and you can start one more so this is the better way you can write down the multiple run command okay now move to the next one which is we have to copy our index.html file from the docker host to the container image so for that purpose i'll use copy instructions to copy the index.html file from docker host to the docker container so start with copy 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 index.html and your target so in my target is www and html so here www html is my target where i need to copy that file now in the next we have to tell the docker to listen the web server on which port and by default apache used 80 port so here we have to use expose instructions to expose the network port for the container so i'll go again with the expose -E, expose the port number is 80 if you have a multiple port we can give it uh, here by using the space like 80 443 like 25 something like that or you can also use go with the protocol like 53 slash UDP or TCP something like that also but I'll go with only 80 because I'm currently I'm going with the web server right now in the last one uh, is the actually main instruction which is going to make our container executable to when the container is going to be launched so you don't need to start anything manually once you run the container using this image automatically your services will be started so for this I'm going to use CMD instruction uh, is there to start my web services so the command is uh, go with the cmd command apache 2 ctl apa sorry apa c h 2 e c t l apache 2 ctl and capital d and the foreground f o r e for g r o u n d yeah perfect so apache 2 apa c h apache 2 E C T L. Okay, spell is right. So basically, what happened? What happened here? If you don't specify any command during the start the container, then this command will run. Otherwise, uh, whatever the command we specify during the Docker run command that would be running. So the Apache 2 C T L D foreground would be would do nothing but run Apache 2 C T L the moment container started. So here we can also use entry point rather than the cmd command line it will be performed the same action but only the difference is that entry point keyword is used strictly run command the moment container is initialized entry point will run is, is respective of the fact whether argument is specified or not so we can go with the entry point also rather than the cmd command so i'll i'm going to replace cmd and say e and give me one second go to the e and e n t r y entry point P O I N T. Yep, entry point. Okay, so uh, we can go with the entry point also like this. Now that's sufficient for the better understand. And more instructions are available in the link. We can refer them from there. So now let me save and quit from here. So let me save and quit and let me cross verify one more time before build the image. Docker file. Let it be checked the entry one one time. Say first of all, I use the from the my base image then i mentioned the maintainer uh, the my name and the email id then i run the run apt get hyphen update then i run apt get install hyphen y apache 2 
Apache 2 and double up percent with one more run instruction that is apt get install Apache 2 utils and then I run the copy instruction to copy the index.html to the target that is www.html then I use the expose and finally I run the entry point Apache 2 CTL okay there is a mistake I think so let me check APA Apache APA CH E2 CTL Apache 2 CTL then foreground F O R E G R O U N D perfect now let it be save and quit and cross verify one more time using cat command okay perfect everything is perfectly fine uh, now I have a docker file in my hand so and move to the next step which is, is build our custom image using the docker file and I'm using docker build command to build the docker image so command is docker build 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 and hyphen t assign the tag name so I'm using custom cus custom image colon zero one and say dot so here dot will search your docker file in the existing directory if your docker file in the another location then use full file path name okay now i'm going to press enter let's see what happened so start building context from the docker step number one out of seven from ubuntu and pulling from the base image that is ubuntu so now you can see it started pull the base image from the docker hub registry so it will take some time and look at that uh, step two step three you can you can identify look at that uh, the different different container image ids are there so you one more thing you can see that that it's creating each docker image layer for each instructions okay so just wait for a couple of minutes let it be complete first then we will move to the next part okay so let's see So I'm just waiting, let it be complete. So it's taking time, I'm going to pause the recording for just for a couple of minutes. Once it's com successfully completed, I'll start it again, okay? So guys you can see that the image is successfully built and uh, finally the build uh, docker image and the image id of this docker image is the last one that is a 6b69 and this one 1733 okay now we can confirm using the docker image command one more time so copy is successfully done expose is successfully done and entry point is successfully done so we can go with the docker images one more time now you can see this is the newly created uh, docker image that is custom image with the tag 01 and just a one minute ago right and now move to the final step which is let's run the docker image and launch new container using the following command that is docker run command so i'm going to start docker run hyphen dit hyphen hyphen name name is the container name that is verb one hyphen p for the port mapping say 84 colon 80 and your repository name or container image name that is 01 right so now here uh, hyphen d use d attach mode hyphen it for interactive mode hyphen hyphen name for the container name and hyphen p for the port mapping so 84 is the local port that is externally port and 80 is the port of web server port that is internally port so what happened here when we request for port 84 from the externally to the docker host ip address it gives to the docker and docker will respond on the port number 80 so now i am i am plus enter let's see yep and uh, I'm running the docker ps command to confirm docker container is running or not so I can go with docker ps yes you can see that it's successfully running and port 80 is exposed and showing the port map 84 to 80 okay so now we can use the web browser or curl command to check my customized web page so if I go with the if config command current IP is 
192 I can go with the curl command first 192 168.111.130 and the port number 84 so once I press enter hey this is my basic web server and similarly if I open my browser and I follow the same IP the IP is 113 okay so if I go with 192.168.111.130 dot one three zero call and port eighty four when I press enter yep uh, it's also working so guys I hope uh, you got the basic idea and you got the idea how you, we can customize our docker image using the docker file and finally guys this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon i will come up with the another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out to my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye